Hi, I'm Dr. Kaya Patel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to look at the crystalline lens with your slit mount. The crystalline lens can be viewed with direct or retro illumination. The direct view is most commonly used and starts with an optic section focused on the central cornea. The slit should be narrow with the brightness set high. Start with a low magnification such as 10 times. Reduce the angle of the illumination system to around 15 degrees so that the light passes through the pupil but is still angled enough to give you a cross-sectional view. With the slit focused on the cornea, the section of the lens visible through the pupil will be out of focus. It can help to reduce the slit height so the beam fits through the pupil and doesn't cause glare. Use the joystick to move the slit lamp forward to bring the anterior surface of the lens into focus. With the light beam coming from the left, the anterior capsule is seen as the bright band on the left of the cross section. The next bright band is the lens epithelium. The dull area behind is the cortex of the lens. Moving the slit lamp slightly forwards brings the lens nucleus into focus. In a young patient, the nucleus is optically empty and appears black. This slit lamp has an LED light source, enhancing the visibility of the subtle lens changes that scatter light. The Y sutures can be visualised. If you continue to move the slit lamp forward, the posterior part of the lens comes into focus. Opacities of the posterior capsule or area beneath the capsule can be seen. For small pupils, reduce the angle between the observation and illumination system. Here we see an example of posterior subcapsular cataract with increased scatter from the back of the section. Cortical and posterior subcapsular opacities also show up well with retroillumination. While focused within the lens, change the angle of the illumination system and at some point, light will be reflected back from the retina, filling the pupil with a red glow. Widen the slip beam to a parallel pipe to increase the brightness of the red glow. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Kaya Patel. And if you'd like this video, come back to watch more. Or you can learn more at Topcon Healthcare University.